Well, it is January after all. Hello once again watchers of Good Movies, my name is Nick Bell and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we're going to be talking about the film Ride Along 2. This is a film starring Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, Ken Jeong, and Olivia Munn. This one takes place a couple months after the original film. We have Ice Cube's character, he is still a detective, he has his own partner, and we have Kevin Hart who just got out of the police academy, he's a rookie cop, and they end up going to Miami, finding a team to take down a drug dealer. Does that sound familiar to the first one at all? I wouldn't know, I didn't watch the first one. The story in this film is incredibly predictable. Uh, you have basically the generally same plot as the first one. You got Ice Cube's character who doesn't really like Kevin Hart's character and they have these bickering scenes which are supposed to be funny. I would be lying if I said that I didn't laugh at some aspects of this film. I did. I did laugh at some points. So it does have that going for it. But the film, like I said, it's incredibly predictable and it doesn't really do anything new, which is why the film was ultimately very disappointing and kind of lackluster. Part of that is the trailer because you, if you watch the trailer, I guess trailers for this film, like I ended up doing because I saw every film, you basically see every main set point of the film because there was no like surprises in regards to where the plot was going. There was a certain scene or a certain aspect of the film which wasn't there until the last 10 minutes. It's like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen in these last 10 minutes. I wonder where they're gonna go. Mm, oh, guess what happens? They went there. And you can tell that people just haven't seen trailers for this film when you have people in the audience laughing, when you see uh, Kevin Hart stand up on the table and get knocked down by the fan that's spinning and pop his head. That scene is in almost every single trailer. It begins every single like YouTube spot that I saw before I watched any YouTube videos. <laughs> it, ah. Now to be fair, uh, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart's their chemistry is pretty good in this film. I enjoyed seeing their bickering for the most part. Uh, it did inhibit some laughs from me. Uh, and some of the action scenes looked fine as well. Uh, they weren't terribly exciting, but they did allow, again, for some laughs. This is a comedy, so that's generally what it's supposed to go for. But it, the story just didn't have an interesting villain, for one thing. It's just kind of standard rich guy who ends up being this crooked politician slash kingpin of drug dealers and stuff like that and it's just like I don't care about you you could have been replaced with any person and I wouldn't have really cared at all you don't really care that much for these characters uh, the main background premise of this film is that Kevin Hart he's getting married to Ice Cube's sister and so they have that kind of time limit going on and uh, I didn't care I, did, I didn't care at all about this movie. But I did get through it. It entertained me enough to not fall asleep through it. To be fair, I fell asleep twice, twice, while trying to watch the first one before going to see this film. And I think I just ended up dozing off, off and on after the the first hour of the film. And I woke up suddenly and said, oh hey, credits are rolling. All right, finish that. So it does have that, but I generally try not to fall asleep in theaters too, so yeah. But at the end of the day, you know that someone's going to make money because the first film made an obscene amount of money and it was not that good. Like I said, I fell asleep in it twice. And so you know this film is going to get money. It's going to draw that same audience when it went to see the first one despite crap reviews like mine and others like me. And they can't just keep having Kevin Hart join up with Ice Cube as like um, a medium thing. You know in the third one, they're going to have them both as actual partners, as detectives, and yet they're going to have this third random new character who ends up being a ride-along with the both of them and then going to to teach him or something like that. That's probably what the third film is going to be. And I, oh my god, I'm probably going to have to go see it in two years because I do these reviews. So, I don't know. Yeah, guys, ride-along too. Not the greatest film in the world. It entertained me enough to get through the hour and 40 minutes that it was, but... I don't know. Unless this film is something that you absolutely love if you're a diehard fan of Ice Cube or Kevin Hart or you just want to look at Olivia Munn dance really sexily uh, in this film, go check it out. But otherwise, it's really not worth your time. I didn't really find myself enjoying it terribly much. Like I said, got through it. That's about it. But those are my thoughts on Ride Along 2. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like the film as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you subscribe. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my good people, my name is Nick Pell. 
and once again, keep on watching.